There is public comment. Okay, Brian, you have to take a seat. We might have some questions out there. Sure. How Sorry. many speakers? There are five speakers. All right, two minutes each. Okay, um, folks that signed up for D2, if you please listen for your name to be called and then come up to the front seats that are reserved for you. Deborah Lane, Eliza Alzaga, Diane Brown, Marisol Sanchez, Fayan Ayad, I'll say your names one more time, Deborah Lane, Eliza Alzaga, Diane Brown, Marisol Sanchez, and Fayan Ayad. That's the last time your names are being called, so go ahead and speak. <clears throat> yes, hi, my name is Deborah Lane. Um, I'm a parent. What is hold on, that? just hold on, just relax. <laughs> go ahead now. Go ahead, go ahead, start. I'm a parent of two girls at Kensington Elementary. Um, I support the parcel tax, um, particularly as it applies to smaller classes. Um, I recently spoke to um, one of my daughter's friend's fathers who left Kensington and is going to another school where the, the class sizes are 20 in 20, something like 20 in sixth grade and 24 in third grade in his daughter's That's classes. Cool. And even though that their school that they're in in West Contra Costa County is not as a, quote, desirable school as Kensington, he said his kids are doing much better. So I'm for anything that will bring down class size, because it has definitely affected my daughter and many of the kids I know. And I think this is the most important thing that the parcel tax can support. I am in support of the parcel tax. Thank you very much. Please come to the mic. You've already had your name called. Ms. Brown, can you please come to the mic? Sorry. Diane Brown, United Teachers of Richmond. Um, I just want to say that um, if we're going to be successful in passing a parcel tax, I would also uh, think that we need to do a lot of community outreach. I also think that um, our members uh, will need to have um, a meaningful dialogue and discussion about how we can make this uh, parcel tax um, successful and as partners in the education of our students i think we must also make sure that that is going to be the major issue in passing this parcel tax thank you Liza Zalga? we're not going to call calling names your names were called so please come up come on Good evening. My name is Marisol Sanchez, and I support a parcel tax adult school. I'm a student at Verde School, a ESL adult class. This is very important for me because it helps me to understand my children, and I communicate with other people. I think very, every person should know the language to understand each other, and Verde School is helping us to make those goals don't cut our budget. Thank you for listening. Um, President Ramsey, I, used, I missed one name that I did hey, not fine. call. Who is that person? David Yarnell. David Yarn. David? David Yarnell. That's fine. Okay. Hold on a second. Ma'am, what's your name? My name is Faiza Yad. Okay. She was called, right? Okay, go ahead. You have two minutes. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm here to support the uh, partial tax because um, we need um, adult education uh, for our children and for us too. So uh, please, if you can keep the, the uh, uh, adult education for us, because I'm trying to go to school now. I've been here 30 years. I was busy taking care of the kids and I had my own business in the house, but now I need to um, get um, more education for me to help me um, do uh, better in my life. 
So please, if you can keep the uh, text partial for us, so we, uh, it, it give me a chance to continue my education and study more so I can help others. Thank you very much. Final speaker, Mr. Yarnell, come on up. Uh, I'm, I'm Dave Yarnell. I'm a, a father of two students in the Kensington School District, also uh, speaking in favor of a parcel tax. Thank you. Is that better? <laughs> uh, I, I think we need it. I think it can pass. I think it's worth doing. Um, I, I guess that's pretty much it. Just urge you to to uh, su to support it, to try for it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone